Hello, spooky friends. It's me, Sonia, and welcome to Spooky Findings. Today we're going to do a little something different, and I'm going to show you my collection, like what I got from Lawn Sales, Party City, and my mug collection. First off, we're going to go with my Halloween uh, cups and mugs. <laughs> First off, this cool, clear skull mug, I guess you can call it. I have a pitcher that looks just like this, but I didn't want to drag it out, but it's dark. This is my son's cup, Boo Ghost, and he goes Boo with it. And of course, you know, since he's my son, I gotta do what I can, huh? And we have a three cup collection. Peanuts, of course, because it's my favorite. It says trick or treat on it. And we have two of the same cup, just lighter and darker, of skulls, because skulls are my thing. And we're going to do three mugs. This one I got at Hobby Lobby. I forgot to use it for the video I did the other day of my haul. But it says, I love fall most of all. And I love these kind of mugs. I finally got one. This one I got last year at TJ Maxx. Again, skulls. And it was like only $4, which was a steal, I thought. And I got this one at Walgreens a couple years ago. It says, trick or treat. And it's like a cauldron with witch feet. It's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Another one I got from Hobby Lobby, which I forgot to show, is... I think it's a kid's cup, but I thought it was too adorable. It's got a hedgehog, a fox, raccoon, and fall scenery around it. It's really cute. Okay, and there's two more. Something that was similar to my son's boo cup is, I guess, a zombie skull with brains. I don't know. It's weird. And my gauntlet with the spooky skeleton hand in purple because it's my favorite color. <laughs> so that's my mug collection that I've been doing for the last few years. We're going to move on to Party City, which I went to because I was trying to get my son's birthday like supplies and stuff like that. Well, our most local one is actually closing its doors. So I was like, oh, cool. So everything was like 75% off. This is not mine, but I bought it for my husband. Ah! Boo. It's pretty, I mean, it's plastic mask, but it's actually a pretty good mask and spooky. This adorable little, um, scarecrow lady <laughs> for, uh, fall and Thanksgiving. Another Thanksgiving thing is a big tom turkey. Um... And, I mean, it's a little damaged, but it was only like 50 cents. But it's a cool little pumpkin that I got at Party City. <laughs> and another little pumpkin. It's got a sparkly stem and it's shiny, I guess. <laughs> I think that might... No, I got one more thing that's from Party City, I believe. This little cute leaf banner. And I was looking at this the other day, I'm like, oh my god, I forgot I had this stuff from Party City. Alright, the next things are things I got from the lawn sales, which I made a killing this year. And I'm like, holy crap. The first thing, since it's the biggest, is this Halloween tree. <laughs> it has little pumpkins on it, and it does have lights. And it's pretty cool. I've never had a Halloween tree, even though I've really wanted one. Some leave window clings. My mom, who's a big lawn sailor, had found me this little pop-up hanging ghost. And, uh, I mean, I don't like Angry Birds, but it's cute for my son. Angry Birds stick-ons for a pumpkin face. She oh, I'll just take these out. They're going to be a little noisy. She also got me these last year. But they are like ping pong style eyeballs. <laughs> I have like a bunch of them. And what I do is I'll put them in like real mason jars and it looks like spooky. <laughs> the next thing I got at a lawn sale was this pumpkin cutout where you can stick lights in it. I didn't bring out the lights, but I'm like, I'm so excited because it'll be like nice near the door. This, I think someone made this, but I don't care. It's still adorable. It's a jack-o'-lantern little basket. 
I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it was only 25 cents. This glass pumpkin where I'm going to get LED lights and put it in there. I mean, it has a candle holder. But we'll see. Maybe I can take that out and just use the pumpkin. This little pumpkin doohickey. <laughs> I have two flags. One with a kitty on it. Welcome fall. And more, well, it's another kitty, but it's more of a spooky one. Happy Halloween. I'll just bring it. Up. I have got this cauldron. This, like, she had a whole tote, and it was mostly Easter things. I'm like, I just want the four Halloween things. <laughs> this is a really cute give thanks wooden sign. And little hanging bats. And probably the last thing. Well, not the last thing, because I forgot about this. <laughs> I finally got a fall wreath, which I'm really excited to put up. Now, the last thing. Again, is what my mom got because she's a big lawn sailor. I have two of these. They're, I think, about the same thing. And it's a skull with, like, worms coming out of it. <laughs> I wonder if they're handmade or what, but I'm like, all right, that, that's like, kind of cool. <laughs> hey, spooky friends. I just wanted to add this to the end of the video. It's a quick little video of me going to Dollar Tree. It's a little shaky because I didn't want to get caught, so I'll try to do my best. Here we have some lights, candy corn ones, and I'm not sure what those are. <laughs> Witches and ghosts, they were motion activated. They probably light up and make noise. Here's some more LED lights, pumpkin, bats, and a skull. These are pretty cool. They're mason jars. They say craft bottle, but they're pretty cool. They're plastic too, not glass. More little lights, pumpkins. Um, I'm not sure what those were. Probably more pumpkins. And these cool little hanging lanterns. Bow. Another paper lanterns. Spider webs. Pumpkin and cat. And those are bats. These were glitter spiders. I think they're just table things. LED lights. Flowers. And like twigs for flower arrangement. Some harvest blessings. Table things. Flowers, cute little leaf dishes, and ceramic pumpkins, some corn, ribbons, tablecloths. They have a lot of ceramic pumpkins this year. It's weird. It's tiny little straw bales. More ceramic pumpkins. I love these picnic pumpkins. They're fabric. Flowers. And autumn leaves and things like that for arrangements. More felt pumpkins. Gather here uh, door mat. Cotton, because I don't know why cotton is a big thing. And we have centerpieces for pumpkins. They're pretty cool. So that's just some of the things I, well, I think it's most of the things I got this year. I have a few other things to show, but I'm going to have probably a bigger reveal and more spooky findings later on. We just, we're plan we have we have plans in the future to go to trips, so like, comment, and subscribe. And have if you have any questions, ask away. Bye!